So let's do a real quick down and dirty of what all of this means. So here's some examples of just some apps I've been playing with. And we're just going to create a new application and we're going to do it from scratch. So the application name, we're just going to call it um, Change Your Life Training. And, uh, and I'm going to click Create. And that adds it to my list of apps. So let's see if we can find it here. Change Your Life Training. We'll try it again. Create. And uh, I don't know why it's not showing. We're going to pretend like it's there. And I'm just going to grab one of these ones. That, oh, there we go. It's got it in there. All right. So one of the things it's going to do is it's going to throw you into um, an active subscription with remaining slots. And guess how many slots you guys have for free? You have as many as you want. So this looks like you have to pay. But in actuality, all you're doing is checking that you're going to take up a slot. And then you're going to click Save. And what that does is that just lets the system know that you're building another uh, mobile app and it doesn't cost you anything. And if you look down here at the details, the order detail says zero dollars, um, which of course means that you get to uh, publish an app for free. Um, and you can publish as many of these as you want to. And then you'll click validate at the very bottom. And once you validate, it opens up another slot for you to be able to start creating your app. So we'll let this run through and refresh the screen for us so we can see what happens at the very end. But once you get your slot, you can start developing your app. And uh, what you're going to find out is your app that you develop, you're going to build an iOS version and you're going to build a uh, Google Play version. So it says uh, your order has been successfully paid, which you didn't pay anything because you're a member of BuilderAll. So it says click here to go back to the application list. So you click here. Oh, that's changed. Yummy. And uh, and actually uh, created two change your life, but that's OK. We'll, create, we'll work in the one that says subscription valid. And all I'm going to do is go into this one and click manage. When I click manage, that's going to take me into the editor so I can start working on my mobile app. Now, remember, these are mobile apps that can be built for um, the Google Play Store, for the iOS Store, and you can even build for the Kindle Store. Um, it's that handy and uh, pretty cool. So I'm going to go in here and we're going to talk about the different sections. The first thing it asks you is what template do you want to use? And there's a bunch of beautiful templates with beautiful pictures. Uh, you can change any of these images, any of the uh, types of buttons. Um, so if you don't see anything that looks good to you, you can always just choose one that's blank and then edit as you go. Or if you see something that you really like, it, like you like this utility design, you can click that one and activate it. And then your template will start off with a design on it already. And you don't have to go through a lot of hoops to be able to change that design. So I click the blue utility just to get us started. And, uh, and then that will actually activate that template in the system. So it's reloading right now. And that, this is the one thing about this particular application is it does take a little while to load everything because it's doing a lot in the background. So as you can see, it put that template in, but it also gives you an example of what the uh, mobile phone is going to look like with that template applied. So the next thing that you change is actually your layout. And if you notice, we've got these buttons here. Um, these are This is the way you navigate. But there's different types of ways to navigate. So if you click change your layout, you're going to see that it gives you other options rather than just a big block. Uh, you'll have many different options you can choose from. And so take a look at all the different options and what they might look like. But I'll tell you my favorite is uh, down this way. It's right here. It's this bottom menu with a little hump on it. That's the one I like the best. So I'm going to click on it. And you'll see how it actually changes the view. But it's got to load everything first. So let's let it load everything. So it's changing the screen. And this is the part that takes a while. So be patient as it uh, works through adding your new menu. And then if we take a look, now I've got the background image and all my buttons are down at the bottom with that little bump in the middle. That's the design that I like the best. When you work in here and you play with it a little bit, you'll actually get your favorite design and the things that you like. So, um, so I've got my template, I've got my layout, I've got some options here so I can display a homepage slider. So there's actually an image here that slides across the screen if I want to. And then I've got some layout options which include um, displaying a shadow on that little uh, bump right there or um, just hiding the bump so it doesn't show um, or hiding the border. Um, either one of those is fine, but that kind of gives you an idea of the things you can work with in the very beginning. Um, then you can also be looking at uh, what is the area on the screen that's going to show when you add an image. So you can make sure that the important information that you want the user to see is actually in that light shadowed area. So um, you can kind of play with that a little bit to make sure your image is exactly what you want it to be. And then you've got some other settings down here, such as the currency US dollars for me. And then the locale, which is US English, which is for me. And then you can actually choose the font family of what you want to work with when you're building your app. So all of those are the very first things that you set up, and that's in the design area. And then the next thing that you work with is colors. 
So all you're going to do is follow the order under the editor, and you're going to work with your colors. Now, this one is really interesting because there are a ton of colors to work with. And you can really do some interesting designs here. And you can imagine we've got colors on this menu. We've got colors on the little bump in the middle. Um, if you go to different pages, you're going to have a top menu where your battery signal is and all that kind of stuff. Um, so all of these areas are areas where you can affect color. And uh, you can check it out. All you do is change the colors and kind of uh, scan around, change the pages and stuff. And you'll see where these actually are affected. But there are a lot of colors that you can play with to make the exact perfect color for your particular mobile app. Once you work with your uh, colors, then you can go to features. And features is um, another name for pages. So you're going to see all the different pages that are available that you can put inside of your mobile app. And there's a lot of them. So we can have an audio page. We can have a form page where we're collecting information. We can do booking through an app. We can set up a cab ride uh, app so that you can uh, set up cab rides with drivers and with passengers. We've got a calendar capability um, and so much more. So you have to play with those pages and you literally have to put them into the app and play with them to see um, what happens with them and, uh, and how to affect them. And in this one, it actually comes with several pages already. And so here's the pages or features that exist already. And I can um, move those in a different order. So if I, if I don't want this one to be first, I can just kind of drag it around and it changes the order. I can delete items if I don't want them by clicking on the little X and that will delete that page so it's no longer in this particular app. Um, there's a lot I can do and each individual page has its own settings. So if I click on the links page, it's going to give me information about the link and uh, what I can add in there and certain settings. So if you take a look, here's the page name. That's the name that will appear on the menu. Um, and then here's all of the different information that I can affect when I set that page in the app. And I've got tabs here. So I've got the links that I can add, the settings, and the design. So lots of different ways to affect the way the link page looks. Um, and if you notice, there's even a section here for Android options. So this link page has Android setup. It also has iOS setup. So it's really important that you take a look at every single page carefully and see what it can do. And then once you're done, you just click Save, and that page is ready to go. So there's so many different styles of pages here that um, it's, it's a lot of fun to actually investigate to see what all you can do. But once you decide on all the different pages that you want to add to your particular app, then you go to the next area, which is application. Now, this is still all under the editor. So under application, we're going to start setting up some settings to make our application ready for the app store. So we're going to um, take a look at the application name. We're going to set up an icon for it. So if you take a look right here, we can actually set the icon in here, uh, whether we uh, decide to choose one that's already there or if we want to upload one. It even tells you what size you need. And then it uh, lets you set up for Android push notifications and what that will look like. And then it lets you set up the splash screen, which is the screen that shows while the app is loading. So all of that is application setup information so you can get it ready to go into your store, whether it's iOS, Google Play, or Kindle. Um, and then the last item on here under editor is publication. So all of these things are to set up everything to get it ready for publishing. And then the last section is publication. And when we go there, these are the last things we need to do to get it ready for publishing. And up here, here's our setting information. And, uh, and then we need to put in some general information like the application name, the bundle ID don't change, the package name don't change. But then under monetize your app, you can actually add uh, advertising in using AdMob. And if the uh, users actually click those advertising items and purchase something, then you actually earn a commission. It's not a huge commission, but you can earn a commission. So it gives you the information on how to set that up in your app. And then once you're ready and you've got all of your uh, pages ready, you've got your uh, settings for the store in the application area, and everything's ready to go, then you can actually start generating the source code for iPhone and the source code for Android. And once you generate the source code, you'll get files, and you'll take those files and put them on the Apple Store, and you'll put them on the Google Play Store. And you can even put the Android version on the Kindle Store as well. And then you've got other areas in here that you can further uh, work with the App Builder, including adding users to help you build your app. You can uh, work with different ways to promote your app. You can send messages back and forth between you and your users as you're working in your app to just kind of make notes. You've got some analytics information. You've got payment gateways if you're accepting payments in your app. You've got some uh, settings that you can work with. 
And in here under modules, we've got training videos that will show you exactly how to do a lot of things inside the App Builder. We've got uh, some analytics for when you're using loyalty cards and stuff like that. And there's just a whole lot in here that you can access. And this is a really quick, really down and dirty um, session on what all you can do. But let me tell you, it is really, really exciting when you can build a mobile app and get it published. And I'm going to look at your eyeballs. So I'm going to um, go back to um, my video. So stream only the camera. And I wanted to let you know, my kitty is actually joining me today right here. This is Gunther. But um, I wanted to let you know that mobile app is actually a pretty lucrative business to get started. And if you guys are uh, in any position where you are not able to work, your company's laid you off, you've been let go, mobile apps are a quick and easy way to get into business. And it's very minimal cost, meaning you're going to pay for Builder All, which is $70 a month. You'll pay for a um, iOS, uh, iTunes account that you can publish to the Apple Store. Um, and that will be uh, $99 per year, I think. And then you'll pay $25 to Google Play one time to be able to become a developer. And you can also become a developer for Amazon for Kindle, which accepts the Android version. And you can do that for free. So you can actually right away get started with mobile apps for an initial setup of about maybe $250 and then an ongoing uh, price, which is for Builderall, which is $70 a month. And uh, for Apple, it will be about $100 a year to remain a developer. Um, so it's really exciting, very minimal money to get set up, but maximize potential earnings. Um, I have done a lot of uh, mobile apps for businesses and for myself, and there's lots and lots of ways to monetize mobile apps so that you can build for someone else. You can build for yourself and monetize through uh, advertising or by charging a fee for the app. Uh, I actually build apps and put them up on the app store and charge $0.99, cents, $1.99 which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have 100 or 200 apps, it starts to build up. So um, there's lots and lots of ways to monetize. All you have to do is use your imagination. Um, and one of the things that I do is actually take PLR products and put them into mobile apps and then put them up and sell them on the app store. Um, and I sell those for $0.99, cents, $1.99, $2.99, depending on what type of apps they are, how much information they have in them, and what's the true value of the information that's in the app. So it's very exciting what you can do. And that's just, I am giving you the shavings of the tip of the iceberg on what you can do with mobile apps. But it is a lot of work. I will tell you that. It doesn't come easy. You have to learn how that uh, app builder works. And then you have to learn how to uh, publish your app. And you have to learn how to deal with rejection. Because most app builders get their first few apps rejected because they just don't quite know how to publish. So you have to really have some tenacity to push through and get things published, especially with the Apple Store because they're the hardest to get published. And I tell everybody all the time that Apple makes grown men cry. They just do. Um, so that's the hardest one to publish to. The easiest one to publish to is the Amazon store publishing for Android devices like the Kindle. So you can publish to them really fast. In fact, I made a dummy uh, app in a training not too long ago and went to publish it and it went straight through and was active in a matter of like a day. So um, it doesn't take long to build and publish on uh, Amazon. It takes a little bit longer to get approved on Google Play. They're a little bit more strict. But then Apple, they're really, really strict. So you have to have good, unique apps. Everything's working. Everything makes sense. Um, and uh, if there's any discrepancies, they will reject you, and you'll have to rework it and resubmit. So that is about all I wanted to do on mobile apps. Again, this is a really quick exposure to what you can do. Let me take a look and see if you guys have any questions. Um, I don't think I see any questions. So let me jump in here to the to the Facebook. Great, great, great. No questions there. And I'll jump over here. And it doesn't look like there's any questions there. Let me make sure. Let me go to the live version. There we go. Still go live. Do you want oh, there we are. Yeah, right, I'm right there. Um, so I don't see any questions there. Um, it may not be allowing you to, to ask any questions <laughs> because this is a, a tricky one for sure. But um, I'm hoping that you guys at least get a good overview of the App Builder and you're aware of how the app builder works. And uh, and remember that if I can do it, you can do it. It's just a matter of that tenacity to get it done. And uh, and it would take, uh, like I said, about $250 in the beginning and then about $70 per month after that. Um, and that will keep you in the mobile app business. Now, what, what kind of money can you make? Um, a simple app can be a couple thousand dollars. That, that's a really simple app. And then I always charge minimum $50 to host an app for a company. So it's a lot like when you build a website and host a website. If I build a mobile app, I'm going to host the, the mobile app. So that's about $50 per month minimum. 
And if you do more and it's a bigger app and you know that you're going to have to make changes to the app, then you charge more per month for hosting. So minimum a couple thousand dollars for an app. And then the bigger the app, it's just like a website. The bigger the app, the more money you can charge. The more features you add to an app, the more money you can charge. So um, check it out. Uh, check out some of my longer training that shows you how to even create restaurant apps where you can put the menu inside the uh, mobile app and on the website. And, uh, and you can put that full menu in there so that the customer can actually order from the menu and then either choose to pay when they get to the store or pay for their food by credit card, which is a great opportunity right now with coronavirus and everything that's happening um, with coronavirus. So uh, I invite you to check it out. Uh, go to Google and type in Builderall uh, menu in mobile app. And if you type that in and do a search, you'll find about three or four different trainings I've done on how to build menus inside of mobile apps. And if you learn that, you'll learn how to build them for websites as well. So that's what all I wanted to show you. Just a, a quick down and dirty cover, uh, just a just real simple training on mobile apps and what you do with the mobile app builder inside of Builderall. So um, we'll have some more training later today. Um, I hope to see you then. And until then, remember, I'm using the Builderall webinar to actually do this webinar. So it's really, really cool how you can see it's done. And this is how you live stream to YouTube, which is really cool. And uh, I'm super excited I was able to use it today. And I'll see if maybe we can use it later uh, in the day as well for the other training. But until then, you guys have a wonderful Monday. And I will see you all around the internet. And don't forget to build something amazing with Builderall. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Look. Hey, they designed a platform for you all. For you all. What you want, what you need, build a raw. Build a raw. Build it up. We just answering your call. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. You're a build a raw rock star. Rock star. Hey, you can build it all. Go hard. Go hard. Sign up and you'll see we got it all. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against the wall. If you're trying to build the name of your brand, they came with a plan. Get your name in demand. Yeah. With build a raw, you can save your day in advance. Keep the apps automated so you barely need to glance. That's fast. Listen, think of all the power that you hold it's a new globe everyone is grabbing for their phones imagine the control build your passion on your own and the more that you connect the more attraction they will show not only a sales funnel look this is more advanced yeah. this will help you compete but have the upper hand keep your products in demand it's all in one spot you don't have to calculate and feel afraid with your thoughts automate your response drag and drop your site or click map your fans see the pages they like or use the video wrap or capture these sites design your own app from scratch just how you like it yeah. they designed a platform for you all for you all what you want, what you need, build a raw. Build, build it up, we just answering your call. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Uh -huh. wall. Yeah. Yeah. You're a build a raw rock star. Rock star. Hey, you can build it all, go hard. go hard. Sign up and you'll see we got it all. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Design with y'all in mind, let entrepreneurs shine. Tired of the nine to five, you starting your own grind and it's all right. All they got right. the tools you need. The connection they designed is truly unique. Never been able to express my views with ease. I move, release, double click, and do I'm pleased. My clients as well, tired of the hoops and leaps. Too yeah. many things in the way of my truth and dreams. A builder, all rock star is what you really are. Tune in on the internet, will make you a star. You don't need to study hard, all it takes is a start. Work every day and move higher till you way off chart. Stay on, never sleep on none of the apps. It's a free sign up just so you know in advance. Builder, all's for the legends, nothing's holding you back. You got the tools and the plan, you can stay on track. Believe hey, that. They designed a platform for you all. What you want, what you need, build a raw. Build it up, we just Answering your call, yeah. we're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. You're a builder, raw rock star. Rock star. Hey, you can build it all, go hard. go hard. Sign up and you'll see we got it all. Yeah. We're the one stop shop if your back's against the wall. Against the wall.